Okay, here we are in Southern California. Um, this is my waste vegetable oil filtering system and dewatering. Um, it consists of two 55-gallon drums. Um, we live in Southern California, as I said, so we have earthquake straps around it. Um, each of these steel barrels has a electrical pipe heater uh, cable wrapped around it and 30 foot in length on each of them. And what this does is it mostly dewaters the oil. If I turn it on for a couple days, the water gets the oil. Right now it's August, so it gets down to about 60 at night. And it hasn't been too terribly hot, but the oil gets up to about 100 degrees, 105 over the course of a couple days. Uh, with that turned on, uses 60 watts of power, so, power, so it's pretty efficient. Um, but I get my oil in these 35 pound cubies. Um, I let it set for about two weeks. And then I pour it into the first filter sock. Um, I have two here in a row, both the same, 25 micron. Although I think I'm going to change it to 15 micron, as the oil that I have is only used once. And uh, those food particles you see are from a QB. I had it empty relatively early because I need re needed to use the container. Um, they're the 5 inch socks by 17. Um, I thought I would get more holes in here as I went, but I really don't need it. That's why I went with the 5 inch and the 17 I went because I didn't want it to dangle into the muck at the bottom. I thought I was a little close to it when I poured it in. Uh, we live here in Southern California, so we have earthquake straps on them. I believe this is R13 insulation around each barrel. And then there's a drain valve I put at the bottom, as close to the bottom as I could. Um, but I don't know how often we'll drain that. As we know, we want the muck at the bottom to form to uh, help dewater. Um, so we have our hand crank. It goes up through here. I put a T in here so that I could recycle the oil in this barrel. Why I would do that, I don't know, but I just sort of added that feature. Sort of maybe just to refilter the oil from the bottom. It goes up to a valve. From there it goes to a 10 micron goldenrod filter. Goes along there, goes down, and we put this little trap in here to kind of, just because I could and I wanted to see the quality of the oil as it comes out the first time. And then that goes into this drum, which has a 5 micron sock dangling. I don't know if you can really see the thermometer there, but it's uh, it says 110 degrees, and it's probably in the 70s here, or 60s, probably 70s right now. Um, that goes into there, so this barrel is filtered to 5 microns. I'll again dewater, turn it on for a day or two before I need it, and then, uh, or at least for the initial, once it's full, for a day or two to dewater it. And then from there, there's a pipe about six inches above the bottom. It will go into this two micron permacool filter, which is attached to the electric pump that goes into the car. So that's kind of it. Um, I got my supplies there. Um, that's pretty much my setup. I have this extra 55 gallon drum in case someone comes by with some oil. I had offer me about, about 30 gallons of waste vegetable oil, so I had to have some place to put it. But the idea is to keep this relatively passive and small. So uh, thanks for looking.